हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ओमनी ज्ञान मेरे चैनल ओमनी ज्ञान में आप सब लोगों का फिर से बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सो सम स्टूडेंट्स वेर रिक्वेस्टिंग मी टू एक्सप्लेन दिस पोम फ्रॉम क्लास नाइन एडिशनल इंग्लिश सेटारिकल एलिजी ऑन द डेथ ऑफ अ लेट फेमस जनरल और राइट एंड टूडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू दिस पोम एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग यू लाइन बाय लाइन इन फैक्ट स्टैंडा बाई स्टैंडा ओके सो दैट एंड I have also put all the details, okay, so that you don't miss anything, and which will help you in understanding the poem and also in attempting to the questions in your exams, okay. So full explanation, as you can see, additional English, class nine under the Meghalaya Board of School Education syllabus, okay. So this poem is written by Jonathan Swift, and it's a very beautiful poem, and it is called a satire also. Now, what is a satire? We'll slowly know. Let us have an introduction to the poem first. तो सबसे पहले हम लोग जान लेते हैं एक छोटा सा introduction about this poem. Okay, uh, yeah, theme of the poem we can say. Okay, so a satirical elegy on the death of a late famous general refers to the death of an English veteran named John Churchill. ठीक है तो it is not mentioned in the poem about this. English veteran okay he was a soldier actually it's not mentioned here and this soldier was in a he- very high position actually in the uh, army okay so here actually it is this poem is actually this poem is actually a, a satirical elegy an elegy elegy is uh, a a song sang when someone dies okay it's called a morning song not morning okay it's a morning song morning means a sad song when somebody dies we sing Uh, a morning song okay so this elegy is actually the death of a late famous general this general okay john churchill remember this name john churchill this name is not mentioned in the poem okay but it r- definitely refers to the death of this person only okay and he was in a very high position the speaker of the poem writes that the general died in his bed without any honor or glory तो स्पीकर मतलब हियर स्पीकर मीन्स द पोइट द पोइट हियर सेज दैट दिस जनरल हु डाइड जॉन चर्चिल ही डाइड विदाउट एनी ऑनर और विदाउट एनी ग्लोरी सी ही इज सच अ बिग सोल्जर सच अ बिग ऑफिसर इन द आर्मी इन अ वेरी हाई पोजिशन एंड वेन ही डाइड ही डिड नॉट रिसीव एनी ऑनर और ग्लोरी नॉर्मली यू सी दैट वेन सोल्जर्स डाई the whole country gives honor and glory to that soldier right but here this person did not get okay why he did not get the poem will explain you here you see let me explain you the term uh, satirical elegy okay the poem is called a satirical elegy as you know now what is satire elegy as i told you is a song which is sang when a person dies okay in very simple Uh, to explain very simply, this is the meaning of elegy. कि हम जब कोई uh, किसी का देहांत हो जाता है जब कोई मर जाता है तो हम लोग उसके ऑनर में जो है हम लोग रोते हैं या गाना कंपोज करते हैं गाना गाते हैं दैट इज़ एन एलिजी एंड सेटायरिकल मतलब सी सेटायर मीन्स द यूज ऑफ ह्यूमर टू एक्सपोज बैड थिंग्स लाइक करप्शन गवर्नेंस एट्सेट्रा ठीक है तो सेटायर मीन्स वट थ्रू जोक्स यू ट्राई टू एक्सपोज द करप्शन you try to expose the government systems you try to expose all the bad things and generally this satire is used to mock all those people to make fun uh, of all those people to expose those people who are in power but they misuse their powers theek hai to hum satirically usko jo hai यू uh, नो you know, कोई अगर सटायर के लिए बहुत जोकिंग मैनर से किसी गवर्नमेंट को क्रिटिसाइज uh, कर रहा होता है ओके से गवर्नमेंट बहुत बैड है इट्स अ वेरी बैड गवर्नमेंट यू वांट टू क्रिटिसाइज यू कैन यूज सटायर देयर ओके जोकिंगली यू आर क्रिटिसाइजिंग द गवर्नमेंट नॉट सीरियसली ओके इट्स नॉट अ सीरियस थिंग द पोइट एक्सपोज द इविल्स ऑफ दिस जनरल इन अ वेरी ह्यूमनस मैनर ह्यूमरस मैनर इन अ वेरी जोकिंग मैनर तो पोइट जो है इस ये जो ये जो जनरल जो मरा दिस चर्चिल that he died here okay you remember the name okay john churchill so this john churchill uh, the poet exposed the evils of this general in a very joking manner to jitna bhi uska kachcha chitta tha wo usne poet ne wo pura khol diya lekin hasi mazak ke manner se theek hai to jaise jaise hum log poem dekhte jayenge stanza by stanza line by line you will come to know uh, ki isne kya kya kiya tha what 
are the bad things that this uh, general uh, have done okay his grace impossible what dead so lines 1 to 4 actually it is 1 to 6 okay i by mistake i wrote 1 to 4 this is lines 1 to 6 his grace impossible what dead of old age to and in his bed and could that mighty warrior fall and so in glorious after all well since he's gone no matter how the last sound trump must wake him now iska explanation dekh lete hain lines 1 to 6 okay the poem begins with the speaker pretending to be surprised and sad over the death of john churchill who was a duke okay he was a duke also remember sometimes i have used the word duke and sometimes i have used the word general okay both are this john churchill only theek hai now in the poem i have not used john churchill the name john churchill anywhere i have either used duke or the word general ठीक है तो आप लोग समझ लेंगे वो जो उस तरीके से अब यहाँ पे जो है जब पोम शुरू होता है तो आप यहाँ पे देखेंगे कि हिस ग्रेस इम्पॉसिबल वाट डेट दैट मीन्स द पोइट इज शॉक्ड द पोइट इज कम्प्लीटली शॉक्ड टू हियर अबाउट द न्यूज ऑफ जॉन चर्च इज डेथ ये जो जनरल मरा मर गया एक्चुअली पोइट जो है बहुत शॉक्ड हुआ है उसका न्यूज़ सुन के बट एक्चुअली दिस इज़ अ सटायर वो शॉक बिल्कुल नहीं हुआ है ही इज़ नॉट शॉक्ड एट ऑल ही इज जस्ट प्रिटेंडिंग वो एक्टिंग कर रहा है इज जस्ट एक्टिंग टू बी शॉक्ट एक्चुअली इन साइड इज हैप्पी दैट अ करप्टेड पर्सन हैज डाइड दैट अ बैड पर्सन हैज डाइड दैट एन ईविल पर्सन हैज डाइड बट सी हाउ ही ह्यूमरसली हाउ सटैरिकली ही प्रेजेंस ओके सो ही प्रिटेंस टू ही इज एक्टिंग दैट ओ अरे इट्स इम्पॉसिबल वाट हीज ग्रेस दैट मीन्स इज जनरल अरे ही ही इज डाइट लाइक वी से नो टू द जज इन द कोर्ट योर ऑनर सो हीज ग्रेस मीन्स जॉन चर्चिल द ड्यूक द जनरल तो ही सीज अरे द ड्यूक इम्पॉसिबल वाट डेट ऑफ ओल्ड एज टू एंड इन हिज बेड दैट मीन्स ही डाइड इन हिज बेड बेड विदाउट एनी ग्लोरी वेर इज द सोल वेर इज अ सोल्जर एक्सपेक्टेड टू डाई टेल मी स्टूडेंट्स वेर डू यू थिंक अ सोल्जर इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डाई अ सोल्जर इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डाई इन द बैटल फील्ड वाइल ही इज फाइटिंग वाइल ही इज फाइटिंग टू सेव टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल right but this general he died in his bed and that too without any glory without any honor koi sanman maan samman kuch nahi jab wo mara okay the real fact is that the general's death does not at all surprise the poet poet nor does he feel sad to je ye jo poet hai jonathan swift he is not surprised at all he is happy inside and he does not feel sad at all it is not sad for the poet okay poet just is just presenting this humorously satirically he is just acting that he is sad but inside he is very happy the general died in his bed due to old age okay so i have already explained you that the general died in his bed due to old age wo bura ho chuka tha isliye wo mara where is he should have died on the battlefield that is what i said where do you where do you expect a soldier to die aap एक सोल्जर को कहाँ एक्सपेक्ट करते कि उसे कहाँ शहीद होना चाहिए वो उसे कहाँ मरना चाहिए बैटल फील्ड में राइट ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी सोल्जर राइट एंड दिस कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी इज एक्चुअली व्हाट इज प्रोटेक्टिंग अस बिकॉज सोल्जर्स दे गार्ड अस एट द बॉर्डर वी आर सेफ हियर राइट द पोएट कॉल्स ही माइटी वॉरियर सो द पोएट कॉल्स दिस जनरल दैट ही वॉज अ माइटी वॉरियर बट अगेन इट इज एन एक्टिंग बाई द पार्ट ऑफ द पोएट बिकॉज द पोएट मीन्स कम्प्लीटली द अपोजिट ही वॉज नॉट अ माइटी वॉरियर ही वॉज अ बैड पर्सन तो पोएट का हर शब्द उसका अपोजिट है वॉट एवर वर्ड द पोएट इज यूजिंग गुड गुड वर्ड्स वॉट एवर गुड गुड वर्ड्स द पोएट इज इज यूजिंग फॉर द जनरल इज एक्चुअली द अपोजिट ठीक है माइटी वॉरियर इसका अपोजिट निकालिए ही वॉज अ वेरी बैड इंडिविजुअल ही वॉज नॉट अ वॉरियर एट ऑल ही वॉज काइंड ऑफ लाइक काउर्ड ओके ही वॉज अ कावर्ड ओके सो उसका अपोजिट निकालिए अब जो वर्ड आपको मिलता है उसका अपोजिट निकालिए सो ही मीन्स कम्प्लीटली द अपोजिट द पोएट द लास्ट साउंड द लास्ट लाउड ट्रम्प मस्ट वेक हिम अपना इसका मतलब क्या है वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस ओके द लास्ट लाउड ट्रम्प मस्ट वेक हिम अप नाउ मीन्स दैट द जनरल द जनरल मस्ट स्लीप मोर एंड नो वन नो वन वन सेम टू वेक अप तो उसका यह मतलब है कि जनरल जो है उसे सो जाना चाहिए कोई नहीं चाहता कि जनरल नींद से उठे क्योंकि वो फिर से उठेगा इफ ही वेक्स अप अगेन ही विल अगेन डू ऑल द बैड थिंग्स टू द पीपल ओके 
so general this general must sleep more and not wake up because nobody wants him to wake up koi nahi chahta ki wo neend se uthe because wo neend se uthne ka matlab hai fir se atyachar torture to the people okay aap log news channels mein dekhte honge you will see in news channels that how politicians have so much money uh, in their house how they are uh, you know getting all the black money from here and there uh, you know what are the bad things that many politicians not everybody but many politicians they do all right they take advantage of their their power their position hai na wo log apna power aur position ka advantage lete hain to ye jo duke hai this john churchill is a similar a uh, man actually who has taken all the advantages of his power of his position lines number 7 to 11 and trust me the poet is telling trust me as the noise grows stronger he'd wish to sleep a little longer and he could be indeed so old as by the newspapers we were told three score i think is pretty high the poet says that this general does not deserve to rest because of his dishonesty generally when people die what do we say rest in peace right we always pray that that person soul might rest in eternal peace but here actually the poet is telling that this general does not re- uh, deserve to take rest because he was very dishonest so let his soul not rest in peace theek hai uska atma ko shanti na mile iski dua poet kar raha hai क्योंकि ये इतना खराब आदमी था ही वॉज सच अ डिजोनेस्ट मैन दैट द पोइट डज नॉट वॉन्ट हिम टू रेस्ट इन पीस इट मीन्स दैट द पोइट डज नॉट वॉन्ट हिज सोल टू रेस्ट इन पीस ठीक है क्योंकि ये इंसान बहुत खराब था बहुत टॉर्चर किए इसने लोगों पर हेयर टॉर्चर्ड पीपल अ लॉट द लार्ड लाउड साउंड ऑफ द ट्रम्प ब्लून फॉर हिज फेयरवेल वुड मेक हिम विश टू स्लीप लॉन्गर अब इसका एक मीनिंग आप देखिए यहाँ पे विश टू स्लीप लॉन्गर मतलब इट कुड ऑल्सो शो लेजीनेस ये लेजीनेस भी शो कर सकता है क्योंकि कोई आदमी जब एक पावर या पोजिशन में आके वेन अ पर्सन कम्स टू अ सर्टेन पावर और अ पोजिशन बट ही इज लेजी ही डज नॉट डू एनी वर्क ही स्टेज अट होम ही स्टेज अट होम ही डज नॉट से देर इज अ फ्लड समवेयर राइट अ पॉलिटिशियन इज एक्सपेक्टेड एनी एम एल ए फ्रॉम दैट एरिया ओके मिनिस्टर फ्रॉम दैट एरिया इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू गो एंड विजिट ओके एंड लुक एट द सिचुएशन ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड फूड शेल्टर टू द पीपल हु आर अफेक्टेड बाई दिस नेचुरल कैलमिटी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्लड यू यू माइड हैव हर्ड ऑफ फ्लड्स ऑल अराउंड इन द कंट्री राइट बट वेन दैट पॉलिटिशियन डज नॉट गो वेन दैट मिनिस्टर डज नॉट गो ही स्टे इज एट होम एंजॉयज Uh, good good food and all these things and is completely careless about the uh, problems of the people okay people would want him to die as soon as possible so that a good person can come to power and fulfill their expectations okay right fulfill their needs okay so this general this duke john churchill had been very lazy all throughout his working years जितना साल उसने काम किया वो लेजीली ही काम करता रहा तो लाउड साउंड ऑफ द ट्रम्प डज नॉट मैटर टू हिम जितना भी ढोल कोई भी आके पीट ले जितना ट्रम्पेट ब्लो कर ले लोग कोई वो नहीं वो तो जिंदा रहने से पहले भी वो सोया करता था मरने के बाद भी वो नहीं उठेगा वो सोएगा ही ओके ही इज सो लेजी ओके सो द लाउड साउंड ऑफ द ट्रम्प ब्लोन फॉर इज फेयरवेल वुड मेक हिम विश टू स्लीप लॉन्गर ओके एंड इवन इट कुड मीन दैट पीपल ऑल्सो वॉन्ट हिम टू actually by blowing the trumpet people also want him to sleep longer people also want that you don't wake up you sleep only okay and you don't wake up permanently okay it could also be people's views from the newspaper actually it came to be known that he was 60 years old okay three score means 60 years okay so newspaper poet is telling us that oh from the newspaper only i come came to know that he was a 60 year old man and moreover he was old also and he died on his bed but actually the poet came to know before only he is just acting no everything is acting like as if he is so much shocked wo aise acting kar raha hai poet is tarike se acting kar raha hai jaise ki usne you know use bahut zyada dukh hua is general ke marne par he is acting in such a way that as if he is so much sad okay but it is not at all the poet is happy three score or 60 years is very long for such an evil minded person to remain alive ek aadmi you see one person when he is very bad and he goes on living and living and living he does not die people pray that this person should die very soon 
सो दैट वी ऑल कैन गेट सम रिलीफ कि हमें थोड़ा शांति मिले सो दैट वी ऑल कैन गेट सम पीस एवरी वन एक्चुअली प्रेज टू गॉड दैट दिस पर्सन माई डाई एज फास्ट एज पॉसिबल सो दिस जनरल ही लिव फॉर सिक्सटी ईयर्स दैट मीन्स फॉर सिक्सटी ईयर्स ही हैज टॉर्चर्ड द पीपल राइट ही हैज इट एन देयर मनी एंड ही हैज इट एन देयर मनी एंड ही ऑल द मनी ऑफ द पीपल से फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही कैप्ट विथ हिम आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल ओके दिस इज नॉट इन द पोम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है तो सिक्सटी ईयर्स इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम स्पेशली फॉर पीपल लाइक दिस जनरल हु आर वेरी इविल माइंडेड सो इट इज गुड दैट दिस पर्सन हैज डाइड एंड दिस पर्सन दिस जनरल ही डिड नो गुड सो इट वॉज बेस्ट दैट ही हैज डाइड वेरी सोन के साठ साल होते होते वो मर गया बहुत अच्छा हुआ क्योंकि उसने किसी के लिए कोई अच्छा काम नहीं किया एंड ही वॉज अ बर्डन टू द अर्थ वो धरती के लिए एक बहुत बड़ा बोझ था एंड एवरी वन वॉज हैप्पी दैट ही हैज डाइड सब लोग बहुत खुश हैं इंक्लूडिंग द पोइट ऑल्सो ओके सब लोग बहुत खुश है एवरी वन इज हैप्पी दैट दिस दिस जनरल हैज डाइड वेरी सोन ओके देन वी कम टू लाइन्स ट्वेल्व टू सिक्सटीन इट वॉज टाइम इन कंसाइंस ही शुड डाई दिस वर्ल्ड ही कम्बुड लॉन्ग इनफ ही बर्न हिज कैंडल टू द स्नफ एंड दैट्स द रीजन सम फोक्स थिंग ही लेफ्ट बिहाइंड सो ग्रेट अ स्टिंक इसका मीनिंग क्या है द पोइट टेल्स द पोइट टेल्स दैट इट वॉज अ परफेक्ट टाइम ऑफ डेथ फॉर द जनरल बिकॉज ही वॉज ओल्ड ऑल्सो right so the poet is actually you see the poet is sometimes taking uh, the side of the general the poet is sometimes uh, sometimes satirically opposing the general theek hai but wo aise aise language ke use kar raha hai the poet is using such language which is satiric theek hai matlab upri meaning jo hai surface meaning is something and inside meaning is something from surface one will think that oh this poet is very sad the poet is actually paying tribute to the general है ना पेइंग रेस्पेक्ट्स टू द जनरल बट नो इफ यू लुक एट द हिडन मीनिंग ऑफ द लाइन्स यू विल सी दैट द पोइट इज एक्चुअली टॉकिंग बैड अबाउट दिस जनरल है ना सो द पोइट इज टेलिंग दैट इट वाज द परफेक्ट टाइम ऑफ डेथ फॉर द जनरल बिकॉज ही वाज ओल्ड आल्सो द द पोइट ही कहना चाह रहा है यू सी ही वाज ऑलरेडी सिक्सटी ईयर्स सिक्सटी ईयर्स इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड इट इज गुड दैट द जनरल हैज डाइड अदरवाइज इफ ही वुड हैव टर्न सेवेंटी और एटी देन देर वुड हैव बिन लॉट ऑफ डिजीजेज एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो इट इज गुड दैट ही हैज डाइड when he reached 60 but actually the poet is happy inside no there is nothing like this aisa kuch nahi hai theek hai 7 70 80 70 80 saal ka hota to is general ko bimari ho sakta tha bistar pe bechara para rehta fir marta to kharab lagta to acha hua ye 60 saal mein hi mar gaya okay the poet actually means to say that the earth was saved from such an evil man after his death to iska meaning ye hai ki poet ye kehna cha raha hai that earth was saved from such an evil man after his death to aise jo hai itne aise bure aadmi se earth ko chutkara mila hai theek hai iske marne ke baad okay this is very easy to understand he has lived his life to the fullest now here you if you see he burnt his candle to the snuff okay here to the snuff means he has blown his own candle he has blown his own candle to the last this the meaning of this line see Poem is such a thing which can be interpreted in hundreds of ways. Okay, hundreds of तरीके से poem को explain किया जा सकता. Now here, uh, the most probable explanations that I have researched and found is this. Okay, say that he has lived his life to the fullest. उप उसने अपना life पूरा enjoy किया. Whether people, whether you know the the common people who are suffering outside. Okay. have uh, had any food at home what were the sufferings of the common people outside he never paid attention to that okay he said that 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 does not matter to me wo jab zinda tha tab wo kehta tha ki mujhe farak nahi padta hai kaun bina khaye so raha hai who is sleeping without having food at night which child is suffering from which disease whether people are getting proper medical treatments whether people are getting jobs it does not matter to this man this duke ठीक है इस ड्यूक के लिए वो मैटर नहीं करता है इट डज नॉट मैटर फॉर द जनरल ही हैज लिव हिज लाइफ टू द फुलस्ट इफ ही थिंक्स दिस ड्यूक थिंक्स दैट इफ आई गेट यू नो गुड गुड फूड टू ईट इफ आई गेट अ वेरी गुड हाउस टू स्लीप इफ आई गेट अ वेरी गुड लार्ज बेड टू स्लीप ओके दैट इज इनफ आई नीड नॉट थिंक अबाउट पीपल सफरिंग्स ठीक है दिस वॉज द थाट ऑफ द जनरल ही डिड नॉट लीव एनी थिंग गुड बिहाइंड उसने पीछे कुछ अच्छा नहीं छोड़ा है so no one loved him obviously 
if you do something good only then people will remember you like say for example mahatma gandhi he fought for the freedom of the country people remember him right netaji subhash chandra bose he fought for the free- freedom of the country people remember him albert einstein he did such wonderful inventions people remember him thomas alva edison he invented the bulb whenever we turn on the bulb we remember thomas alva edison what a great invention it was and there are lots of other things also okay so when you do something good only then people will love you people will remember you but if you do something bad if you don't leave any good things behind when you die then who will remember you who will love you no one so he left behind so great a stink he only left one thing bad smell he only left he did not leave anything good he only left stink which means bad smell what are the what is that bad smell which it means that he has left all the bad things for which people are suffering now usne sara jo hai kharab kharab cheeze hi wo piche chhod ke gaya jiske liye log ab suffer kar rahe i think all of you have read this news in the uh, uh, newspapers or all of you have seen uh, news in the television also watched this news in the television also the current condition of sri lanka i'll just give an example for you to understand the current situation of sri lanka sri lanka has become economically very down sri lanka has become economically very down it has a huge debt karza jisse hum bolte hain when you take loan from somewhere no you have to pay that loan on time otherwise the interest rate goes on increasing interest badhta jata hai to aisa hi hua ki sri lanka ne loan liya bank se world bank se sri lanka ne loan liya loan ke upar loan liya he took lo- loans uh, you know above loans okay loan ke upar loan liya aur jo hai वो चुका नहीं है पाई ही कुड नॉट रीपे द लोन्स नो द इंटरेस्ट सो नाउ श्रीलंका कंडीशन बिकेम वेरी वेरी बैड दैट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ श्रीलंका हैड टू रन अवे उसको भागना पड़ा श्रीलंका छोड़ के ठीक है प्रेसिडेंट को भागना पड़ा श्रीलंका छोड़ के एंड ऑल द पीपल हैव सराउंडेड द हाउस ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट दे हैव कैप्चर्ड द हाउस ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट एंड दिस प्रेसिडेंट ही रैन अवे सो पीपल आर नाउ ब्लेमिंग द प्रेसिडेंट दैट बिकॉज ऑफ यू our country's condition has become so low and you see the f- who is powerful here people or the president the president was obviously powerful because in his hands lied the army in his hands lied the the progress of the country the direct economy of the country he had uh, you know good relationships with the prime ministers and presidents of other countries so he could have contacted them found some solution right or wrong okay so here you see everybody is blaming so he did not leave anything good behind he only left what now that he has run away kyunki a president jo hai wo bhag gaya wo piche kya chhod gaya what did he leave behind he left suffering for the people who will take up the economy now it was whose responsibility the responsibility the duty of the president but wohi to bhag gaya it is he who ran away so who is going to take sri lanka to a very good economic position now kon leke jayega ab yahi sabse bada question hai this is the biggest question now there's no answer to this okay so that is why this general he has left all the bad things behind and for which people are suffering now log ab suffer kar rahe there will be g here okay for which people are suffering now theek hai i think you have understood this behold his funeral appears no no widow sighs nor orphans tears want at such times each heart to peers attend the progress of his hearsay hearsay is uh, an ambulance which carries coffins okay is a vehicle actually i would say in this way is a vehicle which carries coffins especially of big big people okay especially of big big people here but what of that his friends may say he had those honors in his day true to his profit and his pride he made them weep before he died ab iska hum log ek ek karke lines ka meaning dekhte hain let's read the meanings line by lines okay and i would like to request you to keep your books in front of you the poet says that the general's funeral is going to be conducted so behold his funeral appears so the poet is telling that the general general's funeral the duke's funeral is going to be conducted okay then nor widow sighs nor orphans tears neither widows are crying nor orphans are crying on his funeral so nobody is crying basically everybody is happy that the general has died that a bad person has died then want at such times each heart to pierce no one's heart pained 
due to his death when the hearsay passed by so when the vehicle which was carrying the coffin of uh, this general it was passing by the road nobody cried no one's heart pained kisi ke dil mein koi dard nahi hua no one no one's heart pained kisi ke dil mein koi dard nahi hua wo gaari ja pass ho raha tha raste se when the, that vehicle which was carrying the coffin this hearsay when this hearsay was passing by nobody cried koi nahi roya kisi ka dil nahi dukha everybody was happy in that sense okay so attend the progress of this year say but what of that his friends may say iska matlab the poet says that the general's friends might not agree with the bo- poet so you see the general will have a lot of supporters will have a lot of good friends also so obviously the general's friends will not agree with the poet they will be angry with the poet because the poet is speaking against the general तो ये जनरल का जो दोस्त लोग हैं ये तो पोइट को बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं करेगा दे विल नॉट लाइक द पोइट स्टेटमेंट पोइट जो जो बोल रहे तो पोइट बोल रहे कि ये जो जनरल के दोस्त हैं ये तो मुझसे अग्री नहीं करेंगे दे विल नॉट अग्री विथ मी ही हैड दोज ऑनर्स इन हिज डे ट्रू टू हिज प्रॉफिट एंड इज प्राइड ही मेड देम वी बिफोर ही डाइड ओके दीज फोर लाइन्स लेट अस सी और so they might say that people had cried a lot before the general's death so it was no ne- not necessary to cry now ab ye log a general general ke friends jo hai the friends of the duke okay duke ke jo friends hai general ke jo friends hai us unka ye logic hai their logic is that since people have cried a lot before the general's death kyunki general ke death se pehle log bahut roye when the general was on the bed on the verge of death okay people have cried a lot so now it was not necessary that after the death of the general it was no need to cry now because two two times to people will not cry no this is the logic by his friends the friends of the general the two times why should a person cry two times are before death the, these people have already cried a lot so it was not necessary to cry now ab jo hai rona dhona ye zaruri nahi hai do time kyun roye log एक ही टाइम रोएंगे ना व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ लॉजिक इज दिस यू जस्ट इमेजिन स्टूडेंट्स ये किस तरीके का लॉजिक है द जनरल फ्रेंड्स वुड आल्सो अग्री वुड आल्सो नॉट अग्री आई एम सॉरी वुड आल्सो नॉट अग्री टू द पोइट बिकॉज दे सेड दैट द जनरल हैड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु लव्ड हिम एंड ही वॉज ऑनर्ड बाई ऑल इन इज इन हिज ओन डेज यू सी पोइट इन द वेरी फर्स्ट यू नो फ्यू लाइन्स इट सेल्फ इन द वेरी फर्स्ट फ्यू लाइन्स द पोइट ऑलरेडी सेज दैट द जनरल डाइड विदाउट एनी ऑनर विदाउट एनी ग्लोरी राइट ओके द पोइट इज सेड दिस बट द पोइट इज टेलिंग दैट ये जो जनरल के दोस्त हैं द फ्रेंड्स ऑफ दिस जनरल विल नॉट अग्री टू माई वर्ड्स बिकॉज द फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द जनरल हैड ऑलरेडी सेड दैट द जनरल हैड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दिस पोइट इज अ लायर अकॉर्डिंग टू द जनरल फ्रेंड्स द पोइट इज अ लायर बिकॉज द जनरल हैड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल who loved the general a lot and he was honored by all in, in his own days to jab general zinda tha when the general was alive people loved him and he was honored and respected by everybody okay so the poet is telling lie according to the friends of the general now the last uh, few lines lines number 25 to 32 come hither all ye empty things ye bubbles raised by breath of kings who float upon the tide of state come hither and behold your fate let pride be taught by this rebuke how very mean a thing is a duke from all his ill got an honors flung turn to the dirt from whence he sprung now this is a lesson that the poet teaches all of us ओके दिस इज द लेसन दैट द पोइट टीचर्स ऑल ऑफ अस ये एक लेसन है जो पोइट हम सबको बता रहा है इस एड्रेसिंग ऑल ऑफ अस रीडर्स एवरीबडी ओके सबको अब वॉट इज दिस लेसन लेट अस लर्न इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन द पोइट नाउ स्टॉप डिस्क्राइबिंग द लाइफ ऑफ द जनरल लाइफ एंड डेथ ओके द लाइफ ऑफ द जनरल एंड हिज डेथ तो पोइट जो है ये कहता है कि लेट अस स्टॉप डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द जनरल लाइफ एंड डेथ let us discuss something else now so he now tells everybody come here okay he now tells the public actually come hither come here okay so the poet says what does he tell the public the poet says that there are many less deserving people who are in power 
ही एड्रेसेज दीज पीपल ऑल्सो तो पोइट ये कहता है कि ऐसे बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनके अंदर कोई टैलेंट नहीं है देर आर मैनी पीपल इन दिस यू नो इन दिस वर्ल्ड हु डज नॉट हैव एनी टैलेंट एट ऑल दे आर इलिटरेट दे आर अनएजुकेटेड दे डो नॉट हैव द रिक्वायर्ड टैलेंट बट स्टिल दे आर इन पावर somebody is a minister somebody is this somebody is that how by bribing right as you know that uh, people easily get to big big positions by bribing only somebody need a job they will bribe right or wrong so this is and this is this is quite common in the in our country okay this is quite common in our country corruption is something that is eating our vitals करप्शन एक ऐसा चीज़ है जो हमारे वाइटल्स को इंडिया के जो वाइटल्स है मैं इंडिया की बात करूँगा एल टॉक ऑफ इंडिया ओनली इट इज़ ईटिंग द वाइटल्स ऑफ आर सोसाइटी पूरे सोसाइटी को खोखला कर रहा है करप्शन ओके आवर सोसाइटी स्लोली स्लोली बिकमिंग हॉलो बिकॉज गुड एंड टैलेंटेड पीपल रिमेन अनएम्प्लॉयड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट इज़ ओनली दॉट दोज बैड पीपल अनडिजर्विंग पीपल दोज हु डू नॉट डिजर्व एट ऑल दे आर इन पावर <coughs> I'm sorry. They are in power and they are ruling us. Okay, so he is addressing to these kind of people, like this general. He was uh, an empty-headed person. He was not talented at all. कोई talent नहीं उसके अंदर. But because of corruption, because he bribed, because of all you know evil ways, he has got into a big position, which is totally wrong, right? But he got. and this is what is happening in our country also men are compared to bubbles which are born from the breath of kings to yahan pe ye line dekhiye aap ke ye bubbles raised by breath of kings who float upon the tide of state come hither and behold your fate is teen line ka hum log matlab jante hain so the poet now uh, i'm sorry men are compared to bubbles which are born from the breath of kings the poet reminds us that the kings also die so no one can change his or her fate to poet ye kehta hai ki we are born we are compared to the bubbles which are born from the breath of kings that means we are dependent for everything on this kings our birth and death the poet is actually rhetorically asking us a question that are we like this that we are dependent so much on our superiors government politician this and that that we cannot do anything on on our own right so the poet compares bubbles which are born from the breath of kings the poet reminds us that this kings also die so the poet says that don't be over dependent on on this kings on this powerful people kings also die no one can change his or her fate kings are not permanent kings are also temporary anybody in this world as i have written down here whether it is the duke king or anyone he or she has to die because this is our fate we have to die agar hum logo ka janam hua hai if we are if we have taken birth or if we are born we have to die okay and before our death it is said before our death we must do all the good good things so that at least after our death people will remember us people will respect us people will honor us our life will be a life of glory isn't it our life will be a life of glory but very few people understand this thing the rest do not understand they think that money is everything money is not everything money is only a means and not the end money ek medium hai aapko khush rakhne ke liye money is a means money is not end iska matlab that everything will end on money only no there is something called happiness peace relationships love friendship that you cannot buy with money isn't it okay so we all will die one day so we must not be proud of our position if you become a very big person tomorrow say a big engineer tomorrow or a politician tomorrow or in fact the president or the prime minister tomorrow do not be proud of your position right do not be proud always serve the people always serve the people okay they flow by the tides of political power these people dukes kings or any bad people like the general you see the duke the general they all flow by the tides of political power i'll just go back to the lines here see who float upon the tide of state matlab political power ki politics jo ek aisa cheez hai 
जिसका नशा अगर किसी को लग जाता है ओके वेन पीपल बिकम इंटॉक्सिकेटेड बाई पॉलिटिकल पावर दैट पर्सन डज नॉट रिमेंबर एनी थिंग ही विल डू वॉट एवर ही लाइक्स ही विल नेवर थिंक अबाउट द वेलफेयर ऑफ द पीपल वो कभी लोगों के वेलफेयर के बारे में वो कभी नहीं सोचेगा ही विल नेवर थिंक है ना तो वी शुड वी शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट द पोएट गिव द एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम द लाइफ ऑफ दिस ड्यूक दैट अ ड्यूक्स लाइफ एंड पोजिशन इज वेरी मेन एंड फुल ऑफ प्राइड तो यहाँ पर हम लोग पीछे थोड़े जाते हैं इस लाइन पर एंड देखते हैं लेट प्राइड बी टॉट बाई दिस रिब्यूक How very mean a thing's a duke. Okay, so the poet says that let us have an example from the life of of this duke only. That that this this duke had been so bad, so mean, so bad that he has done all the bad things to the people, to the common people, to everybody. Okay, so this duke's life had been full of meanness and full of pride. he never cared for anybody this duke okay so the poet gives the example of the duke the poet means here that one should not be proud of his power or position because his life is not permanent this is what i am trying to say and this is what the poet is telling and i am just explaining obviously this is what the poet is trying to tell us and this is the meaning of the line that the poet is telling here that never be proud of your power or position no matter who you are Your life is not permanent. My life is not permanent. हम किसी किसी का लाइफ जो है हम में से किसी का लाइफ परमानेंट नहीं है वी हैव टू डाई इफ आवर हेल्थ इज गुड वी विल लिव अ लिटल लॉन्गर अदरवाइज लाइफ इज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू माई डाई सो दैट इज वाई लेट मी रिपीट वन सेकेंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट आई हैव सेट दैट वेन यू डू गुड थिंग्स टू पीपल एंड यू डाई पीपल विल रिमेंबर यू फॉर अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम अदरवाइज वाई शुड पीपल रिमेंबर यू फॉर वाट शुड पीपल रिमेंबर यू Okay, the Duke, the General, had got all his honors and respects by ill means or by illegal means. So whatever honor, whatever respects he have got, he has got by illegal means, by all the bad means. So here, you have from all his ill-gotten honors flung. So he has got this position when he was alive. He got all the honor, position, respect illegally. He never did anything good. Okay. turn to that dirt from whence he sprung after dying the duke has now turned to that same dirt from where he was born so dirt is actually dust we are born from dust when we die we will mix with the dust but the poet does not use the word dust here the poet uses the word dirt here dirt means dirty why is the poet see very very intentionally the poet is using the word dirt here i'll just come to this point okay i'll come to this point a little later i'll just explain you this the poet could have used the word dust also right but no he intentionally uses the word dirt to show how bad this general was dekhi word ke selection mein bhi you know selection of word is also very important the poet could have easily used the word dust here but no he uses dirt only because obviously the way the general came into power was very dirty okay and the way the general has died is very dirty he has returned to that very dirt from where he came so here the duke has been working with dirt when he was alive to pura zindagi usne usi gandagi ke sath kaam kiya he he was working with the dirt only see all illegal things are dirty only so he had been doing this duke had been doing all the illegal things so he had been doing all the dirty things when he was alive so it is his fate that he has now died and buried and so returns back to that same dirt to ab usi ka fate hai usi ka bhagya hai jo jo karm usne kiya whatever he said no karma turns back to you if you do bad you will receive bad if you do good you will receive good so it is your karma it is your fate it is the fate of the duke that he has now returned and he is now buried to that same dirt from where he came and from where he got his power right so the poem ends here with the example and the lesson that one must not be proud and everybody will die duke king prime minister president general whoever that person is everyone will die one or the other day never be proud of your position do good to people 
you will receive good from everybody people will talk good about you okay so this is the meaning of the poem this is the explanation of the poem and i hope that i have been able to explain you line by line stanza by stanza word by word also at times and even if there is any issue any problem you can you are very feel uh, you are very free to ask me in the comment section mujhe comment section mein aap log zarur puchiyega ki poem aapko kaisa laga how did you like the poem this you please um uh you know comment in the comment section okay so that's all from me for today subscribe to the channel like and share my videos and i will soon be uploading notes on omnigyan.blogspot.com the link is in the website link is in the description box i shall i'm also there on facebook and instagram please follow me there also okay so that you don't miss any important notification okay so that's all with love from omnigyan and all the best to all of you thank you so 